Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at 10 tips to become more attractive. Yes, these are pretty much instant tips, ways that you can become more attractive in an instant. But first, if you're not a subscriber and if you're interested in making your second half even better than the first half, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of my Wednesday and Saturday videos. Okay, let's get down to this. The first tip is something that I just discovered this year and I can't believe I never thought of it sooner, but it is to avoid back fat. Yes, that is right. Here is a look at what my back looks like in a standard bra. And even though I'm not a particularly heavy person, I do have a little bit of excess back fat there. And in that bra, it just squeezes it all up and makes it very visible. And here's how that back fat area can look in a normal shirt with a normal bra. But here's how it looks with a bra designed to control that. And I recently got several of these bras from Soma and I'll put the links below. They're absolutely wonderful. They're lightly padded with a little bit of underwire, which I appreciate. And this bra actually comes in several different styles, but it does help alleviate that back fat problem because it has a very wide strap here that just smooths you out so you don't have any bumps and bulges at the upper part of your back. Now tip number two is to avoid panty lines and for many years I just didn't care about this, I didn't notice it. And then my husband started saying things like you need to take a look at the rear view, it's not so great back there and I would look in the mirror and kind of be horrified and in fact one time I was at an enrollment meeting in Garden City, Kansas and he had come with me and it was at the beginning of the day in an enrollment meeting and he said you know you need to pull your blazer down because it's really not a good look back there and I realized to my horror that I had the panty line problem. Now there are a couple of ways you can take care of that problem. The first is to wear a thong but I really hate these. I have them but I do not wear them and the second way is a product that I found at Soma again and again I'm not sponsored by Soma but these are their no panty line panties. I can't remember what they're called but I think they're really pretty. First they're very attractive in terms of the shape of them because this part comes up to almost your belly button but then they're high cut so it gives you a nice long lean look so they look nice and then they're cut rather high in the back but they have this adhesive on the back instead of elastic because elastic would cut into your legs and the bottom of your butt and it would make little panty lines but this stays totally smooth because of this little bit of adhesive. This is a brand new pair, but I've had another pair that I've worn several times and it's gone through the wash. And for some reason, this little bit of stickiness here continues to stay on even after the wash. But these panties really do smooth out those lines and give you a great rear view. Now the third way to look more attractive is to avoid that baggy saggy butt in jeans. Here's a look at how you can look in jeans if you're not careful. Everything just kind of bags and sags. And I realized over time that that problem is first because I really wasn't paying enough attention to how the back of my jeans looked when I was in the fitting room purchasing the jeans. So give yourself a good look back there. And secondly, I was buying jeans that fit in the fitting room. And I know that seems obvious, but the tightest your jeans will ever be is the day you try them on in the fitting room because thereafter they'll stretch out with every wearing over the next few weeks. So what I do now to avoid that baggy butt situation is that I buy the jeans a little bit more snug than I would like them to be knowing that they will get looser over time and the first time I wear them, yes, they're a little bit tight to put on and it's a little bit hard to do up that button and that zipper, but within about 10 minutes they're comfortable and by the end of the day they're just fine. So please remember to buy your jeans just a little bit on the snug side and that will take care of baggy butt. My fourth secret to look more attractive is dark wash jeans. Yes, that's right. If you look into my closet, almost all of my jeans are dark wash and that's because dark colors recede. Dark colors make us look longer and leaner and slimmer. Here's a look at a lady in dark wash jeans and she even has the dark heels. A heel is something else very good to wear with your dark wash jeans. And it's a black heel so it just blends in with those jeans and gives you a very long slim look. So if you want to look the most slender possible, get out those dark wash jeans. Now my fifth tip to look more attractive is to remember that leggings are not pants. Yes, that's right. It seems self-evident, but one time I actually went to an insurance enrollment meeting and I forgot this big tip, this big rule, and I wore a short little crop jacket with some leggings and I absolutely felt naked the whole day and I was doing enrollment meetings in front of all of these men and they probably had some weird thoughts about me and I felt very embarrassed and I won't do that again. Now in the first picture, as you can tell, she's wearing her leggings like pants and she's very exposed. 
The second picture, she's a little bit less exposed. In the third picture, she is totally looking great. She has a long tunic over the leggings, and that is a very classy, classic look. And in the fourth picture, she's even more covered up. She's put another layer over that, and she looks absolutely wonderful. Now the next two pictures of leggings I'm going to show you are definite don'ts and in fact the first lady ended up in the people of Walmart which is not where you want to end up but here she is bending over her leggings and she's breaking two rules first she's got clear leggings the second they are nude leggings so it looks kind of naked there which is not a good look and third she's treating them like pants and she's very exposed in an area where she does not need the exposure and again make sure when you're buying your leggings that they're not clear Here's another lady who, you know, she looks a little better, but you can really see a little bit too much in those leggings. So let your leggings leave a little bit to the imagination. Wear them longer and make sure they're thick enough. Now my next tip to look more attractive is to have your clothing altered. Yes, I mentioned this in another video, but I think it's so important it's worth mentioning again. And for many years it never really occurred to me to get my clothing altered. I kind of wore it if it was a few inches too wide on the sides or if it was a little bit short in the hem, something like that. But recently, within the last couple of years, I've started having things altered, and I really think I look quite a bit better. Now, here is a picture that shows an outfit before and after, and shows you some of the many ways in which an outfit can be altered. You can shorten a blazer, you can shorten the sleeves, you can actually change the neckline of an outfit, you can tailor pants in on the sides, you can let the hem out. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend you go to that extent in altering an outfit, but nipping in a blouse a little bit on the side or bringing in a blazer or lengthening some pants, those are easy alterations that don't cost a lot, but they can make a huge difference. Next tip. Now my next tip is a grooming one. Use a lint roller. And here is my lint roller. It has my hair on it. And I just cleaned it off, but it's so good at picking up lint that it's already been picking up lint. I have several of these. I have one at home in the bathroom, I have one in the car, and I keep one at work too. And it's absolutely wonderful for getting that little bit of lint off your coat or off your sweater or off your blouse, something like that. And if you have pets in the house, having a lint roller is very important because in many cases we don't realize that our pet has shed on the couch and we sit down in our black trousers and off we go to work and we really look like a total linty mess. And to be well groomed, it's important to be lint free, so use a lint brush or a lint roller. Now the last three tips I have involve bringing a little more sparkle to your face. The first face tip I have involves your eyes and bringing a little more shine, a little more emphasis to your eyes. And this is a wonderful little tip and it's very inexpensive. I think this was under $3. And this is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I put it on this morning and you can see how well it stays on. But I'll go ahead and put it on again just to kind of show you how it works. You basically put this little tan liner in your waterline. It doesn't hurt. It feels a little weird at first. And there you can see it just makes the whites of your eyes appear larger and it just brings a little sparkle to your eyes. Now my next tip involves concealer and most of us think about using concealer to conceal under eye bags and wrinkles and that kind of thing. But many times we forget about this little darkness on the inner part of our nose and I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. I'm going to take this little bit of tart shape tape and put it in the corners there and it was a little black there and I'm just going to dab it in with my fingers and then I will powder it to make sure it stays put. I'll just use a little bit of pressed powder here. And as you can see, that little bit of concealer dotted on my inner eyes really lightened up the darkness. Now tip number 10 involves your pearly whites and keeping them pearly. I have been using this Smile Brilliant Whitening Kit and this is the little box they send you and it has customized trays and they send you little vials of tooth whitener and I wear this for about an hour to two hours every week or so to keep my teeth white and as we get to be more grown up shall we say our teeth tend to get more yellow and our teeth really give away our age so one of the youthing techniques that I think is most important is to keep our teeth white and here's a look at my before and after pictures and it took about 10 days to go from the before picture to the after picture and as you can tell my teeth are much whiter now and I did that maybe about four or five months ago and I've just been keeping my teeth white every week or two using the same kit and I really really love it and the thing I like best about this is that this is the same tooth whitening that you get in the dentist office for a lot less and I'll put the information about it below. Now if you're not a subscriber and you're 40 plus or 50 plus and you're interested in having a great second half, I hope you'll consider subscribing and will you click that little bell that just notifies you of my Wednesday and Saturday videos. 
Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'll be drawing a card from the Power Thoughts cards by Louise Hay. I love Louise. She's just awesome. Here we go. Okay. There is plenty for everyone, including me. There is plenty for everyone, including me. Great affirmation. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. So true. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card. That is so true, and it's important to remember there is plenty for everyone, including me. Sometimes in life, we kind of forget that, and we start to get this scarcity mentality and think that maybe there's not enough in the world for me. But let's remember today, as we go through our day, that the ocean of life is lavish in its abundance and that all my needs and desires are met before I even ask. And let's all remember that good things come from everywhere and everyone and everything. Take care. See you next time.